Lord Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs from the construct you feel connection. Resonance. State your business. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. The Watcher will communicate with our new Intelligence Directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. I cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Nay, sir, hides within me. I 
bear merely a skull, nay more and nay less. I call myself Marvin. Thou mayst do the same. Unfortunate, nay, ineluctable, perchance evitable, to be confined in such immuring quarters. Thou wisheth to escape the confines of this prison, doth thou not? I can helpest thee for the cost of two riddles. Answer me true, and I shall teleport thee to safety. Answer me false, and I shall teleport thee near the guard. is my own will. Once I did occupy this very prison after a night of most bacchanalian debauchery. I possessed the spirit of a glica and the art of a wizard. The merriment laid before thee is born of trifling jest, wizardry, and whiskey. Common is just so very common. Very well. To rephrase, I will teleport you away for the cost of two riddles. Answer them right, and I send you to safety. Answer them wrong, and I send you to the guards. The enchantment is clearly the work of an advanced caster. The body may have wasted away, but the mind that inhabited it is imprinted on the skull. Then we begin. I fly, but not through the sky. I say goodbye at night and hello in the morning. I am part of you and follow wherever you go. I wear only black and run from the light, yet without it, I couldn't exist. Who am I? Very good. Your freedom is nigh. And now, the second riddle. I am beaten and battered, but never break. My crown has felt the strike of endless blades, yet I can never move. I never sweat, even when the summertide sun shines upon me. Who am I? An anvil indeed, you make me most proud. It is time to depart. Are you ready, madam? Freedom is yours. Savor it, for there is no gift that cannot be reclaimed or ravaged. Away! The guard prepares to attack. Fugitives are to be killed on sight. Even catch my breath. May the gods take you first. It's over. He's too far gone.
What do you want? You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now scram with your sour puss. You're disturbing my sitting time. You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. You don't get it. We lost. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair, a tadpole's puppet, nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Alder's words, I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Well done. Lead the way. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Getting signed, you announce. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the... This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, 
I will stand with it. This is my promise.